Hello there, my name's John Arnold. I've been asked to edit an image as part of my onboarding into uh, into the Arcanum. So this is the image I'm going to work on. Um, I don't know who shot this, it's certainly not mine, but uh, I'll just take you through the steps that occurred to me as I as I look at it and what I want to do to, to post-process it and show you how I might do a video tutorial. So um, I'm going to start off looking at, at this lady's skin, which isn't as uh, smooth as I would like, so I'm going to use the brush tool. Uh, and I'm going to choose the Soften Skin preset and I'm going to paint that over the areas of her skin that have got maybe a little bit more detail in them than I would like. Uh, I am going to go into the hairline because I'm seeing a little detail up at the temple here that I didn't like. Um, I'm going to try and make sure I don't touch anything that, uh, that should have detail like the eyes and the mouth and uh, the shapes in the nose and things like that. Just try and make sure I don't wreck any any details that uh, should be uh, uh, should be left alone. Um, so that's that's a good start with the skin softening. There's also just a little bit of the camera can be very unkind sometimes uh, and I'm seeing just a little bit of uh, hair there on the cheek. So I'm going to go and do another skin softening layer and this time as well as painting over this area once I've masked that in, I'm also going to drag the uh, the sharpness down so that we're not sharpening that uh, that little little bit of hair. So I'm going to zoom back out, and those two things between them should have greatly uh, uh, softened that skin, and it makes her look a lot younger. Now the other thing I want to do is uh, I want to start doing a little bit of spot removal. So I'm going to do this little spot here. I would never normally remove um, uh, something like that on on a, on a portrait of somebody that I was doing for that person, but a model shot like this maybe I might because uh, um, the model shots, you know, it's really down to us what they look like. The model is is uh, uh, unless you're shooting it for the model, being paid by the model, then it's not really up to her. Um, so. The next thing I would do, I'm not quite sure I like the eyes and the mouth on this, they're not as sharp as I would like. So once again I'm going to grab my brush tool and this time I'm going to just choose the clarity. So that we're now using a, a, a high clarity. Uh, I am racing through this post-processing by the way because I don't think this is really um, a sort of a beginner tutorial. This is this is much more of a uh, um, an advanced tutorial and I'm making a lot of assumptions about what you viewers might know. So I've done that with the clarity all the way up to 100. That's so that I can see the effect. I'm now going to back it off um, to something a bit more normal, a bit more uh, reasonable. So about 30 is looking pretty good. Let's just see whether the shadows does anything for me. Yeah, I think a little bit of shadows boosting there as well um, and a good deal of sharpening. Yeah, the sharpening's adding a good, amount, a good amount as well. This eye is still not as sharp as I would like. The one, the the the, the further back eye looks pretty good. Mouth is still a little bit soft, but um, there's there's where we started. And this is just a little bit sharper and a little bit better. So uh, the next thing I would do, by the way, um, useful keyboard shortcut: the H key on your keyboard when you're in the brush mode will hide all those annoying little dots because sometimes you can't see past them. Um, so there's little dots if you want to hide and press H for hide. Um, the next thing I would do is even up the light a little on her face. It is just a little bit coming from the right. And while I like that, I think I would also like a little bit of light up here on her temple. So I'm going to go make another new adjustment and I'm going to choose dodge this time. So a dodge is a lighten and I'm going to make my brush strength, my brush opacity much, much softer. I'm going to use a, a three and just layer this edit in. I want more light there and a little bit more light down here on her chin because it's mostly at the top. There we go, that's looking a bit better. And then just to balance that off, I always try and come at this, the problem from both sides if I can. So a little bit of dodging here and a little bit of burning as well, just to, rather than doing it all with dodging or doing it all with burning, I feel, I feel like you get a more natural result if you do a little bit of each. So I'm going to just burn just a shade again. I've only got a very, very slight brush opacity just to try and even the light up a little bit. In fact, I might even have gone a bit too far there. So I'm going to nudge that number down to minus 0.3 instead of minus 0.5. So let's see how we're looking. I'm just turning on and off all the, all the um, 
the brushwork we've done so far and it's making quite a big difference that's not too bad I think the other thing I would do is a little bit of dodging in the hair there is a bit of shadow here and it should be in shadow but maybe a little bit of light wouldn't hurt let's go up to a full a full brush strength just bring a little bit of light onto the hair there I still want the hair in the uh, in the distance to have that wonderful light coming through it because that really is a big uh, a big draw for this shot it's, it's a it's lovely that and I'm also looking at the um, the skin there and I'm wondering whether or not the um, the skin down here could use a little bit of softening too let's do another a skin softening layer um, and just soften this down here as well because this isn't really where my eyes are going I don't want detail down there to draw my eye okay that's that's not too bad I think we've got off to a good start with this one um, I think the next thing I might do is just draw a little bit of attention to the face I'm going to use the circle tool um, and this is going to let me draw a big old circle on the on the image um, maybe not quite that big let's make it smaller than that um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to separate our model from the background and process them both slightly differently um, so at the moment we've got a clarity setting on that I don't want that let's take that clarity back to the middle um, what I do want so uh, what's happening here is it's affecting everything outside the circle at the moment so if I darken you'll see that I can I can bring the emphasis onto the onto the model there and I'm going to add a whole load of feathering on this as well um, so that the the transition from the darken in the edge to the lightening on the face uh, is much more subtle much more gradual I'm going to make that brush that circle fairly big so that we keep our model in the light and all that work I did to lighten her hair I've just undone by making this circle so let's move this around until it looks about right which is maybe there um, and the other thing I'd like to do outside as well as darken I don't just want a vignette here I also want to add some color back in because there's some wonderful color going on in this shot one of the things I like about this shot and I, I've over darkened it let me just sort that over darkening out um, move down to minus 0.5 and um, I do that deliberately by the way I, I drag the exposure slider way down so that I can see the effect and then once I've got it in the right place uh, then I start dragging it back up uh, so that it looks natural with the shot so you know you t I tend to be a little heavy-handed with the sliders initially and then I back them off quite a bit later on so the thing one of the things that, that really attracted me with this shot was was the color there's a lot of color all the way throughout this shot so um, uh, I've deliberately added extra saturation to the, to the area outside this circle here um, I think the next thing I would probably do is add a little vignette so I'm going to go down to the vignette section you might be thinking but John you've already just done a vignette yeah, yes I'm going to do a different kind of vignette so just as before I'm going to drag the amount all the way down to minus 100 um, I'm going to change the roundness so that it's more of an edge burn vignette and I'm going to bring the midpoint in so that it comes more into the shot I'm going to feather it a little bit more and then I'm going to back, bring the, the mount back up until it feels like the kind of effect I wanted which is sort of there just um, I, I should have probably added a little bit too much feather on that yeah I just want a little darkening at the edges there just to sort of um, and I, I can go a little darker now as well um, so I've got the light on, on, on the young lady's face I've got the background going darker and then at the edges I've got it going even darker still uh, I think looking at that I might also just finish up with a touch of extra brightness just to bring a little bit of extra light into the shot um, maybe deepen the blacks just a touch and I'm, I'm pretty happy with that I think if I was going to do anything more to this probably what I would do is snapshot it there um, and just say uh, clean color so we're using all the original colors maybe now if I wanted to, to try and get a little bit crazy uh, I might start messing with the tone curve and you can see I tend to use the tone curve with the red green and blue channels separately if I can um, so let's just mess around a little bit with this Add a little bit of cyan there a little bit of oh not too much not too much 
and also uh, when I'm messing with colours this way it often helps just to take a little bit of saturation out of the image to begin with so desaturate the image and then start messing with the colours and get a little bit crazy Going a little, put a little bit of cyan in it's actually quite a lot of cyan let's take that up a little and then the greens I kind of want to do downwards towards magenta a touch and then sort out. I don't want to wreck the skin tones too badly so I'm trying to keep the top half of the histogram roughly linear and then in the blues I'm going to drag the top half down just a little to give it a warmth and then some extra boost of blue in the shadows just to give it a little cross-process style. Actually that's kind of a lot of cross-process style. If I was doing this in Photoshop I would try and do that, that colour edit there um, in a layer of its own so that you could dial in just as much of that as you want uh, but anyway so that's that's a pretty decent um, first stab at a post processing um, I'm pretty happy with that I'm going to stop there and uh, upload this for my uh, fellow Arcanum uh, cohort members to take a look at thank you for watching I'll catch you next time bye bye